Disney movie up here, Tangled. <laughs> Fantastic, wasn't it? Huh? Fantastic. You know, uh, fantasy is uh, it's an odd thing. It's the stuff dreams are made of. <laughs> Even now, as I'm uh, aware of the, the hundreds of dead tribes people that died at the hands of mortal lunatics, I can't help but, uh, you know, make this audience of people laugh even though they're likely to get sacrificed to the river gods. <laughs> That's you guys. Yeah, no, but I, uh, I just got to crack you guys up because that's what I do. You know, Captain Andy's first mate, Roland, said this to me when we crushed the first of the tribe's people under the boat. He said, Ken, how do you, how do you keep moving on? How do you have the will? Do, do you have the strength to keep telling jokes? And I said, Roland, how could you ask me this question? Okay, this is what I do. I tell jokes at shows, okay? If I don't take this boat as Blanche's dying wish into the Amazonia River, well, I'm a man without dreams. And plus, I got your nose. <laughs> so well, we're gonna have to keep going down the river until we find a way to reattach it. <laughs> Roland's a weird guy. <laughs> Okay, so some people call us crazy, right, for doing this, but hey, I have to laugh crazy. I like the Aerosmith song, crazy. I like crazy glue. Heck, I even like crazy, spelled with a K, to make it even more crazy. You know? I, I host comedy shows because that's all I know what to do. And I do it for the pussy. Just kidding, I'm a dog person. Funny enough, though, funny enough, these tribes people uh, are also dog people. Uh, 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 we started the trip with three Basset hounds, and now all we're left with are a bunch of Angela Basset VHS tapes. Personal favorite. My personal favorite is waiting to exhale, because that's how I'm feeling about right now. You see, um, Chief Ookby Groundling and Rachel came to me in my sleep last night. They, uh... We're there, and Rachel was stroking the chief's chest as he sliced the hairy skin off a kiwi. I guess it was meant to be me, because Rachel kept pointing at me and then at the kiwi and saying, this is you. <laughs> uh, apparently, they don't teach subtlety at Oxford. Uh, but uh, they both urinated in my bed and then left, <laughs> which uh, taught me a valuable lesson. Uh, we should not have come here to the jungle. I realize that now. You know, this, this, the jungle is, is, is full of horrors. The trees are in misery. The birds scream at the pain that man has given them. And I am that man. I realize that. As the classic song goes, welcome to the jungle. You're gonna die. And I happen to think, I happen to think that's true. But uh, you know what? If I could just make one savage tribesman just crack up as he slowly murders me, and <laughs> give him the tip of the cap of my disembodied scalp on the way out, I may have won this fight. In a weird way, I may have won. 